So, hello everyone. John Donnelly, it's Manu from Your Holistic Academy. And my guest today is Alina Popova. How are you doing today, Alina? Hi, everybody. I'm doing well. Thank you, John. Yeah, it's lovely to meet you here on, uh, on Facebook. And uh, we met uh, two years ago, Arena, in Cork. And uh, I was on um, a spiritual retreat with Jason Chan. That's our first time to meet. And you are, uh, you work with Jason on the Infinite Arts. So can you tell us a little bit about, uh, about how, you, how you met Jason or how you, how, you, how you got working with Jason? Yes, so yes, I remember that John two years ago. Yes, it was a nice, nice retreat. And um, we met you first time that time. Yes. And then you, we can meet each other every month yeah. <laughs> for the training. Yeah. So, what's infinite arts to start with? It's the holistic practices, it's the tools that basically for raising our energy vibration. Okay. And um, it's the path that I personally follow for more than 10 years. The Infinite Arts was created by uh, Jason Chan, Master Jason Chan, to help us on, on the journey, on the journey to awakening, to spiritual growth, whatever you call it. And uh, 10 years ago, I met Jason and um, started the course <clears throat> with him. Something resonates in my, in my, in, within me. That's why I started. To tell you the truth, I didn't really plan to start to do any trainings. I want to learn a little bit of a martial arts, a little bit of a kicking and punches, you know. But then when, <laughs> yes, sound familiar, yes. But then when I joined the course and I started to uh, follow the teachings, there's something else just resonates, you know, so that calling you cannot resist. And I just follow that calling through now 10 years and keep going, see, never stop learning, never stop learning. So the infinite arts as a practices incorporates Tai Chi, Qigong, yoga, and meditation. It's like a, you know, like a beautiful toolbox we can use, okay, that help us to raise the energy vibration. Because like, to be honest, we, we like what's awakening, enlightenment, whatever, growth, it's an expansion of consciousness, isn't it? We become more conscious, more awake, more clear, if you like, clarity, right? Yeah. But this consciousness and now reside in the form, right? In the physical form. So we all know it's not, it, you know, this, it's not the new for all of us. So basically for our physical form, for our physical body doesn't feel vibrant, right? Try to meditate when you're not well, when you're sick. You, you won't be really um, focused that much. You won't be able actually to sit and meditate. Or if you're full of emotions as well, yeah? The, the disturbing emotions or just even excitement, it's very difficult to meditate. So using the infinite arts, they help us to raise the vibration. And we, we call it the radiant chi or radiant energy. So the energy that, that just supports the practice and the meditation as well as the most powerful tool we, we use. Um, infinite meditation is um, partly chikung work, the energy work, right? Energy work that keep us aligned and keep, uh, keep, it, keep, the, keep the, the, the practice go, or, you know. So the way the infinite arts support is to raise our vibration raise our vibration because everything is vibration isn't it? we all know everything is a chi life force the infinite arts help us to raise the vibration and be on the radiant level on the you know cultivate the energy be vibrant okay yeah. because i think this is makes sense isn't it if we're sluggish and don't feel well it's very difficult to to even want to meditate isn't it even yeah. to want to do something expand right yeah and she, I mean, talk to us about she, I mean, because I mean, I mean, I guess uh, in, in Ireland, uh, I mean, traditional practices, uh, I guess when I was growing up, I didn't know, I, I didn't know anything about she. Uh, so I only got to learn about she later in life. Uh, so it's, more, it's like uh, an Eastern tradition more so than. Yeah, yeah. We can call it chi, like in yoga, it's called prana. In the simple language, we say it's 
it's life force, isn't it? It's the energy. So if we have a vibrant energy, it's much easier to to live life, if you like. Okay, and it's much easier. It's kind of because without the air energy, without vibrant energy, it's difficult to create, isn't it? Yeah. It's difficult to to live life, to support. How can you support someone if you're lacking it? You cannot really give, isn't it? If you don't have. Yeah. Okay, so when cultivating cultivation of bright energy within then helps us to, to expand and give. That's the, the, the way it is. When we have a seven levels of transformation, so it's not just, oh yeah, let's get, you know, vibrant. We have seven levels of transformation, starting with the simple, the health and vitality, cultivation, the energy, cultivation, the chi. So you're not losing the energy during the day. You know, you can create projects, you can work hard, but you're not losing the energy. You're still vibrant at the end of the day, see? There's plenty of energy. And then the radiant chi, the different kind of energy, it's all the vibration, isn't it? Because we know that everything vibrates. So yeah. it's a different vibration. Everything's energy. Like it's not uh, nothing new about it. Everything vibrates. So we, this is the, the levels of energetic transformation is kind of going a little bit every time level up. So the yeah. radiant energy, it's more, we talk golden sun, isn't it? Yeah. We, we, we cultivate golden sun energy, bright energy that support us, see? And support others as well and then we go up the next level love energy we call it again this is all names but they all have its energetic resonance yeah. so it's a love energy you live in joy and and, and happiness continuously see so and then continue into wholeness and then another level is divine energy if you like again different names yeah they mean different but we talk about vibration, so it becomes more tangible. So not just words or intellectual understanding, it becomes, uh, you experience it. It's become, becoming the experience. And then not just you experienced once, and then, you know, oh yes, I had a big expansion of consciousness and I you know, so light. You continuously to cultivate it, okay? And become familiar, familiar, familiarize yourself with every level and just simply becoming it. So it's a journey of becoming. Yeah, and it's- I love So life force is key. Yeah, but what I love about the the whole infant arts program, it's 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 all layers really, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic. It's all those layers, and so it's a holistic uh, it's a holistic uh, program, if you like, that uh, addresses every layer of our existence, really, isn't it? Yes, yeah, absolutely. And it's it's for everybody. You know, you can start and slowly build up. So it's we're not talking like. One weekend and you done weekend and you done or one day practice and you be transformed. No, it's continuous cultivation, transformation. Okay, you need a commitment. So it's not just you know I'll I'll do the weekend and that's it. I'm done. Not really. It's continuous, continuous mm -hmm. transformation, commitment, involvement. So yeah. that's our aim. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So how how do uh, how do people get in touch with you, Arena? Then if uh, so. It's through, through the, uh, the Infinite Arts Academy. Is, is, is mostly an online at the moment. Yes, it? yeah. At the moment, it's online. Everything is online at the moment. Yeah. And we have different levels of trainings as well, uh, including live trainings, including recorded trainings with Jason. So now at the moment, we're running the um, retreat that called Enlightenment and Bodhisattva Path Retreat, recorded retreat with Jason trainings. And um, so yeah, it's online online platform, but we, when the, the COVID restrictions are over, it's going to be live as well, live trainings, live workshops, live seminars, because it's a practice, it's a practice that what we uh, to promote wouldn't be the wrong word, isn't it? It's the practice that we put our intention in. So it's not just talking about stuff, not just, um, intellectual understanding, but it's also practical. It's very practical tools to be healthy, to be vibrant, mm. okay? Yeah. To get in touch with the love energy. And when we talk about love energy, it's not just, you know, I love you, you love me kind of a stuff, isn't it? It's on a deeper level. It's a different vibration. Yeah. And then the ability to stay in that vibration, okay? Effortlessly. Yeah. That's what, what it is about. And before before you started the uh, infinite arts, uh, I mean you were a yoga teacher as well, were you? Before it was it was it went 
you know, kind of a parallel. I started to be interested in these practices from the childhood, really, you know, it was some um, yearning to learn something new, something that is, uh, and you know, in that time, it was not available, isn't it, John? You couldn't find the books, now you can go to the shop and get whatever you like, isn't it? Yeah. So we were, yeah, yeah, really searching for the book. We have to really want it, isn't it? We have to really want it to yeah. find a book, to find the teachings, right? Yeah. And you you came all the way from uh, from uh, uh, Ukraine, isn't it, Irina? Ukraine, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how did you end up in Ireland, or how long ago did you come to Ireland? Well, we came. I came to Ireland in two thousand one, two thousand one. So it looks like a long time ago now, almost twenty years now. Yeah. Um, I used to be a horse riding instructor oh. and also the show jumper. So that's my was my passion from since since i was 12 like my daughter is now 12 she started horse riding and just it's like you know the memory coming back yeah so starting because there was always passion for um the animal and i felt very very uh, strong connection with the animals and horses in particular so i mean magnificent animals you know you just look at them and you start to cry you know because they're such a powerful beautiful creatures isn't it it's just like um beautiful God's creation, the horses. Yeah. So, and then we came to Ireland, if you remember, the Celtic tiger time, yeah. lots of Eastern Europeans, uh, yeah. workers were coming. So I was one of them working with the horses, with the race horses to start with, and then show jumpers, and then to keep moving on. But I always underneath, I always liked the yoga, you know, I didn't really practice um, consistently but there was the interest in it, you know? So I, li I like the, 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 the approach with the, the, the philosophy of the practice, okay? And um, the, that union, the point of the union, you know, the wholeness, how to get there. You know, tr trial and error, you know, no teachers, you can keep yeah. doing and stuff and then you trial and error, it works, it doesn't work, you're still trapped in, yeah. The, yeah. in the stuff, you know? Yeah. And, and then, Yep. There's a famous uh, show jump in arena down in, in Mill Street, uh, where, you, where you live now, yeah? In Mill Street, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big arena here, big, big training centre, yeah, yeah. I was used to working here, yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> so, you yeah. ended up working there in, in the arena with the horses there, I mean, yeah? Y yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, that, so starting with the horses and then... You, 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 you arrived in a beautiful part of Ireland, in, in County Cork, it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic yeah. one of my favourite counties in Ireland. Uh, yeah. Oh, beautiful, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, did you meet Jason then when you came to Ireland first, or did you...? <clears throat> yeah, well, I feel now it was a, a destiny, I think, to come to Ireland to meet Jason Chan and uh, follow his teachings. Um, the, but you know what, what I found that to, to really get in touch or to get start to get really interested and again, not speculating about it, but really commit to the path, commit to training, commit to learning, commit to improvement, commit to growth. Mm. Well, my pers personal experience, <clears throat> I had to go through some discomfort and um, and pain, you know, emotional pain in my in my case, to start to search for a way out. Yeah. As we usually do, isn't it? Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. And then suddenly, you know, because the, the universal ways we cannot really uh, predict or know what's going on. And looking back at the moment, I know it was, you know, it was a destiny to do it, you know. And um, when I started just looking for the classes, because once a couple of times ago, when I was, you know, again, having a hard time, you know, young child, I was interested in yoga and then the meditation, you know, monkey mind. So I noticed that it's all causing my monkey mind causes the problem. So, yeah. and then I said, yeah, well, if that helps that time, it should help this time too. You know, it was a very difficult time in my life. Like we all have this time. See, it's not just one person, and, you know, I'm so, you know, so uh, unique. No, everybody had this in times. And it just, I just remember that helped me. So I started to look for the teachers to, um, to, to help me on the way. Yeah. And this is the beautiful way of it, you know, which we think we can do it by ourselves. Yeah. But in fact, 
you know, it's, it's more direct, isn't it? When we have a teacher, when we have a path, for the person who's already went through the woods, you know, he knows this plant bites, this, you know, spider bites, that plant is not good, this water is not good to drink, you know, and he has a map, road map, or she, doesn't really matter. Yeah. So we just keep following the path rather than trying all this stuff, being very proud that we find in our own way with the bruises and, and yeah. you know, all the stuff, but it's actually much wiser yeah. to follow a path, person who already done it. And how would I find I resonate, my heart resonate. And when I start to attend training, again, I, I joined it for a wrong reason. I wanted to kick and punch and be strong and healthy. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then the teachings and meditations came, it was a surprise, but then it starts to um, like a building blocks, you know, because as a seeker, as the, 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 the student, you have lots of questions, isn't it, in your mind? So these teachings start to slowly close in the gaps, okay, close in the gaps, answer the questions. Why is this? Why, you know, I had a family dynamic when I was growing up. Why does it happen? So the teachings, the Jason's teachings in training and meditations start to fill in the gaps, yeah. okay? Yeah. So there is a resonation and understanding what's happening. And then of course, the chi, see the energy level is very helpful to raise. And this is where we always point in the trainings. So we go through the challenges with the energy, okay? We, we grow, we go through the turmoil. And as Jason's always say, you go through your healing journey if you, if you want. You better to go in four-star hotel or in your room, in the comfort of your room, rather than in a hospital or, you know, in the, in the go through tur turmoils and some situations. So we're raising the energy to keep our body vibrant, our emotion, you know, vibrant, yeah. and our mental state clear and vibrant too. And then we go dig deep with the Ling Chi healing, with the healing art, we go deep to clear the past memories, clear whatever you call it, right? The, 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 the blockages in our system. Why? To be open more, to be able to hold more, if you like, love energy, yeah. different vibration of energy, okay? And then become a better service, that's all become a better service to others. Yeah. Okay, we're not teaching really anything, isn't it? We just, uh, presence, it's a shared presence. The presence of teacher opens you up and guides you through. Yes, John. Yeah, and of course, uh, Jason has uh, dedicated his life to this, uh, to this, uh, yeah. developing this uh, infinite arts uh, program. So, so that, uh, so he, he was a he was a tai chi a tai chi master, but then he sort of developed the program. Yeah. 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 Jason, Jason himself he started uh, young. He was a martial artist, and um, he has a calling to awake. Yeah. And then it came it came to him in in the way he was he started to to create infinite Tai Chi, which is a beautiful form. You can check it out, it's uh, on the website. It's a beautiful form. It's not just the martial art. It's not martial art at all, okay? It's a form, it's a, it's an art. It's an art form. And uh, the energy of it and the essence of it and the atmosphere creates it simply beautiful in the inside and outside. He dedicated his life and he created this form. It was, it was a given, you know, but when you practice, there's no doubt you feel the, the different um, energy, the different essence, yeah. And so also the, the Tai Chi is an art form. It's, um, it's a, you understand the different level. It's like a, like a beautiful piece of music or like a beautiful piece of, of art or like a beautiful drawing or photograph, so, you know, or dance, it's an art form. And then we have a Qi Kung, yeah, the Qi Kung, is um, also in Tai Chi can be called meditation and movement, right? So, which is, I think, very beautiful, uh, beautiful term to it. And Qigong is the energy work. So, they all were hanging hand together. The energy work 
the qigong you know it's a combination of breath movement focus which is cultivating the energy in the body which is get the wholeness the union of our mind body and energy and spirit right and then it's all in one practice you cultivate it so it becomes tangible so you feel that right so it is just like a groundwork for tai chi and meditation okay so yes and the jason he dedicated his life uh, to it and he's continuously um bringing more answers you know and it's, it's a beautiful beautiful transformation beautiful and observe how the infinite arts evolve by itself okay how practitioners transform God, practitioners move with the practices with the arts. Sure. Yes. And uh, there's a very strong uh, sort of connection with the Chinese medicine as well, Lorena. And uh, I know that uh, people like Alex Jacobs and that are, are um, strong Tai Chi uh, practitioners and uh, mm. devoted to the uh, art of Chinese medicine as well. Absolutely. Yeah. But see, the, the Chikung practice itself with medicine, isn't it? It's it's a medicine yeah. by itself. It's not uh, the pills, not not uh, the powders, but it's a medicine. You know, you know that you're changing the alchemy in the body. You 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 know, if your body is, if you're aligned, if you keep your spine aligned, if you have a positive emotion, right? If you breathe deep, right? So this combination, if you have a focus, one point of focus, this combination will transform you within. Isn't it? We, know, we all know now the positive, the power of positivity, isn't it? But it's just not just in the mind. Sometimes we keep the positive thoughts just in the mind, so we bring it more into the into the body. Okay, so it, you yeah. you know it's internal transformation. So that's the, that's sure. the qigong, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, it's yeah. alchemy. Yeah, yeah. My my, I, I find Arena that for me the. Uh, <clears throat> intellectual understanding of, of things is not really it, it doesn't go deep enough you gotta have an exper experiential experience this energy if you like and experience the, uh, the practice and, and have that discipline to practice that, that's what where the real transformation comes from yeah? yes yeah. yeah transformation comes only from practice yeah, yeah. right yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be a Tai Chi master, it's it's what it's minimum of ten thousand of hours of practice. Is that right? That's right. So like about like any art, isn't it? So you start building up. You start from ten minutes of practice. You can join the classes. You do the classes. Um, you can start ten minutes practice a day and then build up. We say like okay, very simple. You know, we, you know, we don't ask anybody to believe us. Just take one chik chikung practice, like golden sun practice, and do it every day. For 20 days, 21 days, yeah, like that's what we say is the, you know, the transformation can happen. And just do it. You know, you do it for seven days, you say, you no, either want to give up, I want to continue because you feel fantastic, so you feel more energy, you feel more alive. That's what it is, alive. You become, you know, what's aware? This isn't it's sharp, it's you become conscious, super sharp, super sharp, yes. vibrant health, um, lots of energy. I mean, that's every anybody wants. You don't even want to go into the spiritual aspect of it, isn't it? Just feel yeah. fantastic, vibrant. You know, that's already yeah. fantastic. It's already a journey itself, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I have to, I have to read that. My favorite. Uh, so this is from the Jason's book, Infinite Abundance, and this is my favorite uh, quotation of all time, Marina. And it's on, it's in the, it's in the book, Jason's book. This is everything is linked to the level of your consciousness, including your bank balance. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, lo I love that. Uh, I love that statement. So, uh, I mean, it affects uh, it affects every area of your life. It's like uh, you know the whole concept of abundance uh, comes from energy, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, if, if anybody's watching who wants to increase their bank balance. Uh, they should they should get in touch with you as well about uh, raising their uh, raising their energetic vibration. Yeah? yeah, it is. It does. It makes sense. See, it makes sense, isn't it? When your body vibrates, we we all vibrate. We all know that, isn't it? We yeah. all I mean energy. It's scientific scientists telling you, you know your energy guys, You're not just physical matter, isn't it? Your energy. So we all vibrate in a different level. So raising the vibration and stay there. 
So that's the things. So you raise and you cultivate certain energy. So health vitality is the energy you upgrade certain level. Chi abundance, different level. Yeah. It's you upgrade on a different level. Yeah. And then what you, you know that, what you upgrade, you attract the similar vibration. Sure. So slowly, your life starts to change as well. So it's not like, oh yeah, just think about it, think positive thinking and that's it, you know? No, it becomes tangible because your energy, your, your energy vibration change. It attracts different energy, different circumstances, different people into your life, yeah. okay? Yeah. And then keep going, keep, it's not just, oh, I'm there and that's enough. No, there's another level, there's another level. You can, you know, raise it, it's infinite. Yeah. Sure, and of course the uh, the scientific community are now sort of uh, uh, I mean the whole the whole study of quantum physics and, and the quantum mind now I mean so the science and sort of spirituality are sort of coming together now in a way. Yeah, absolutely. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. It's not just uh, you know the yogic ancient yogic and Taoist practice knew it all two hundred years to be able to. Uh, how many 2000 5000 years before the bc yeah so yeah. now the science catch up yeah yeah <laughs> which fantastic. is great isn't it yeah so what sort of uh, what sort of clients uh, would, would are sort of attracted to your uh, to your program Sabina? what sort of people do you feel well mostly it's uh, well i can tell you um it's um Practitioners who already has certain practice. Yeah. For example, we uh, we, we always advise um, the the practitioners who work with other clients or with other people or students yeah. to get in touch as well or practice the chikung, for example. Yeah. So we have certain techniques to that it helps to clear. The energy field because we know that you know everything is vibration and we, we see it as vibration so when sometimes um you know if you work in the hospital for example isn't it you you can come home very very tired yeah sure so it's that helping to clean and get balance your energy okay so it's usually people who already has a practice okay but they want to go next level yeah but we also will just start into developing a new like entry course for those who inspire to start from the scratch. Okay. Yeah. So usually some of our trainings, uh, we won't even advise to people to start with because they, again, vibration, energy vibration can be a little bit um, uh, tough or I don't know how, uh, what, how what's the right word to say, but it'd be a little bit too strong. Yeah. Like the basically because so your body, your mind, your nervous system become like a strong, um, how do you call this? That, uh, uh, like if you have a light bulb, we say, yeah. yeah? yeah. And so the, the, the cord, electric cord, if it's very weak, yeah. it can burn the cord. It can burn your fuses, right? Yeah. So we yeah. use this as analogy. So as your energy become more stronger, like 200, if you want 200 watts, you need to have a strong lining and strong cord. Yeah. So as you're building, you have to build a vibration and strong nervous system to be able to hold this energy, to hold this energy, okay? It's beautiful practice, step by step, yeah. okay? Step by step. Yeah. So it's not like you, you know, it's, you know, a little bit of goic game, isn't it? I want it all, you know? And you can, from the start, you can jump all and burn down. So not very wise uh, yeah. to do so, yeah. So I, I have to ask you, Irina. Uh, so uh, of course uh, I'm I'm actually one of her students right now, and in, into my third year of teacher training for uh, for Infinite Tai Chi. So uh, how good a how good a student of mine, Irina? <laughs> Say it again, John. How, how good a how good a student am I? <laughs> how good a student I am? Are you happy with my progress? <laughs> oh yes, absolutely. I love it. I love it. Look, John, come on. You're, you're a fantastic student. So it's dedication. So always, it's always the dedication and focus which is more important. How, how, how much you can, you can get involved, isn't it? It's all the involvement, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's all in how much in anything, you know? Yeah. So how, and you, John, you're fully involved in it. See, you're all fully involved in training and yeah. your transformation. It's, you combine both. 
your work and your passion. Isn't that fantastic? Good, good. Well, thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I have to you say you're, you're an incredible teacher and uh, I, I'm loving, loving the journey in the, uh, in the infinite arts. It's been, a, it's been, a, I, I'll give you a testimonial and a testimonial for Jason. Uh, it's been a huge transformation in my life uh, the last two years. And uh, in fact, uh, I'll share this with uh, anyone who's interested, the uh, Holistic Academy uh, project uh, the inspiration for that project came from uh, from my from my retreat two years ago with Jason. So uh, so, and I'm delighted uh, delighted that you uh, yourself and Jason are part of part of our project. So uh, that's been incredible, and I look forward to uh, look forward to working with you for many many years to come on the uh, not only in the Infinite Arts but also on the Holistic Academy project. Yeah. Thank you, John. Thank you. And thank you so much for the conversation today. It was really, and uh, so people can reach you uh, with uh, on the Infinite Arts, and uh, you've got a Facebook group, and you're, you're on Instagram, and uh, yes, uh, for the Infinite Arts Academy, uh, InfiniteArts.com, yeah, yes, and uh, so uh, we, we'll share share the links, uh, Arena, afterwards. And uh, again, uh, delighted to delighted to have you uh, in conversation today, Arena. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. And we hope to do more in, in um, your Holistic Academy. Yeah, maybe you have some courses there as well. Yeah, sure. That'd be fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you.